Now there's different ways of doing the corners and the curdy, uh, curdy band connection. Um, this is preference thing, but um, I'll show you. This will actually reduce some of the buildup. So I usually place my curdy corners in first. And then if we ran the curdy band, let's say we ran it tight into the corner and we have the second piece coming over. So now we have three layers. And then when it's time to do the large piece, we actually have four layers of curdy here. So let me just show you a way to reduce at least one layer. We can get our two inch overlap to these curdy corners. So there's the two inch overlap. So now there's two, only two layers, and then we'll put in our final layer. So we have three layers here instead of the four. Okay, so the next part of our Curdy shower kit is to connect the walls with the floor with Curdy band and Curdy corners. Now we could do this after we actually laid the curdy on the tray, but we've elected to go ahead and put that in first. Uh, Brian, I think again, this is just a preference thing, right? This, there's nothing to do with the, the, the function of the system. This is more about just how the installer prefers uh, to put it in. Right. And uh, I like doing it this way. Uh, could you hand me an inside corner? These are made to go, I mean, they're totally square, but how often do we get to a job site where it's totally square? So in case there's any, you know, out of squareness, uh, I'll put these in first, and then my curdy band's going to cover anything if there's any imperfection in the corner. Okay. So the corner's in first, then the band. What if uh, the, the drain was in? Could we actually put the curdy on the tray before we put the corners and banding in? You could. But again, I kind of like doing these first, and I'll show you in a minute why I like doing it that way. Now look at that technique. You, you keep the corner tight by holding it in with one blade, and then you get another corner. You get the curdy band or the curdy corner firmly embedded in there with the other, the other blade. Right. Yep, I'll use one to kind of pinch the corner, and the other one I wipe out the excess. And I'm, I'm not pushing too hard, just enough to, to get the thin set out from behind, just a little bit. That thin set looks it. like it's at a really good consistency for, for doing this, where you won't take too much out, but you won't uh, leave too much underneath, too, and add to the buildup, too. Too, too heavy, right? Just to get it to flatten out. Okay. Now, tell us again about, you've got the corners in first, right. and now these corners did fit very nicely in here, but uh, the reason you put those in first, or you prefer to, is... You might have a corner sticking up a little bit, so when we come, when I come back with the curdy band, that's going to cover anything like that. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. And you still have your two inch overlap because the leg on our inside corner comes out a little over two inches. Right. And this is really going to reduce how much of a buildup. I'll end up with three layers instead of four. Okay. Well, we also find that what will add to the buildup or the total thickness of the, uh, of the curdy job more than how many layers of curdy you have is how much thin set you leave between each one of the layers, too. Would you agree with that? that? That'll build you up just as quick as extra layers of curdy? Yeah, for sure. And, and you can see this, this is still holding the notch, but it's pretty shiny, so it's, it's uh, pretty wet. Okay, so like we said earlier, it's a loose consistency, but it'll, it'll still hold the notch. You can see that clearly, that the notch is still there, but that thin set will flow nicely and knock down when you put the curdy over the top of it. Yeah, it'll be real easy to get it tight and smooth. I'm just using one knife here, but I'm just kind of putting light pressure just to uh, get it started into the thin set. 
and then I'll come back again now. I can put a little more pressure and I angle it so it's pulling the thin set out from behind the curdy. Okay, and you've achieved your minimum two inch overlap onto those outside corners because of the, those legs that go travel out from the corner down each, each, each wall, so we're right. good there. And so when I lay up the other piece of curdy band for the other wall, okay, that's going to sit right there okay. so they're not overlapping each other. Mm -hmm. And then when we're ready to do this, this full piece, the big piece on the pan, that's how it's going to look. We'll have okay, three so layers. So we'll minimize the buildup in that corner back up in there. And this might be important because typically the size tile we put on, on the shower pan is uh, not always, but typically is smaller than the stuff we we're using on the wall. Yeah, so a lot it's, of times it's, it's going to be affected by an extra buildup uh, because of the small notch trowel we'd use to set that tile. Right. Okay, so we're going to continue on. I guess I'll get out of your way, Brian, so you can come down here. <laughs> 